the next um, section here is uh, going to cover capture app parity. This is features that used to be in the tracker capture app and um, that now have been redesigned and reimagined in the in the capture app. And the first feature I'm going to show you in this category is called breaking the glass. Um, it is um, a feature that is useful um, when um, your end users needs to have a means of accessing records that is outside their immediate capture organ it. Um, without giving the full access to everyone, to all organets, you can now, with the protected program uh, level, the access level protected, um, designate that users should have um, the possibility of breaking the glass and accessing records outside their capture scope. If they can find a person, um, they are able to break in, as we say, um, if they need to, um, as long as they provide a reason. I'm going to give a short uh, demo of this now. Um, and I'm in my search form in, um, in this version of the Sierra Leone database. Um, I'm logged in with a user that ha has access to Neon Dama only. Um, and I'm searching for a patient that I know is, um, is not um, in Neon Dama. Um, the program is slightly modified from the standard Sierra Leone database uh, as the WHO RMNCH tracker program has been set to, to access level protected. If I search in my own org unit, uh, I will not find any results. Uh, but if I go and search in all org units and programs, I will find um, a person called Ava Didrikson, which was my uh, search terms. But trying to open her uh, RMNCH WHO RMNCH dashboard, I get this screen. And I do have to provide a reason uh, to get access to the record. Uh, she worked in um, 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 the reason I provide here is stored in the database in an audit table. And um, uh, the um, uh, th their, uh, each implementation should have uh, follow-up routines to make sure that um, any abuse is uh, is followed up uh, and um, uh, by uh, by uh, the system admins. Clicking the check for enrollments button, uh, there is one enrollment that is active, and I'm directly taken into this this screen and seeing a was a record in the WHO RMNCH uh, tracker. Uh, the access will uh, be retained for two hours. Uh, so um, I will uh, be able to uh, add to the record, work with the, in the record for two hours before uh, the glass would have to be broken again uh, for, for this user. The original user, uh, the original org unit will retain access as well. So breaking in to a record does not take it over. You just gain an extra temporary access to the record. Um, okay, the next feature I'm going to show you is um, a quite small one. It's also a parity feature. Uh, it is um, uh, the program stage setting that is called Ask User to Create a New Event when stage is complete. You can see it, see it to the left here. And um, I will give you a short demonstration of how this uh, works. Um, the uh, use cases for this is uh, twofold. You um, can speed up back entry um, scenarios where a user would have to normally enter many events one after the other. Uh, this is um, uh, a more direct access to, to creating a new event with, with less clicks. Uh, the other use case it supports is a, a reminder in clinical settings or point of care settings where you would generally have, um, have a um, uh, a new visit scheduled uh, when you finish the current one. This uh, would um, this would, for example, cover uh, ANC visits where um, you would uh, normally schedule a new visit at the end of a current one. So I'm going to give a short uh, demo. I'm going to open this uh, already ongoing antenatal care. Oops. Uh, uh, I'm going to open a ongoing 
and then we can reset here. And um, I'm going to complete the ongoing reset um, and save it. And when I do, I get this uh, box. Um, I can um, agree to creating a new event if that's what I want. And then I will be presented with the possible stages that can be added. And in this case, uh, I'm going with the Antinal Care Visit again. Um, and the default screen here is for going directly to reporting a new visit. But what I want to do now is schedule a new visit later. So I'll go to schedule and click schedule. And as you can see, uh, the, um, the scheduled visit ended up here. Um, yeah. The next uh, feature I'm going to show you is um, a search form enhancement, uh, creating a new tracked entity instance from search term. Um, we now have a button for um, for adding a new tracked entity instance if you don't find any or is not happy with your search results. Um, this um, this button will take you to the registration form, but keep keep all the search uh, terms that you had entered in your program. So I'm going to do a short demonstration. Um, and search by attributes. This is not a person that exists. Um, and I can create new. And the search terms are carried over to this form. Um, the um, use cases that is strengthened by this is um, mainly um, allowing users to start by searching all of the time. And this being a part of the user's workflow will um, potentially reduce duplicates in the end user and uh, in the data in, in um, later rounds. The next feature I'm going to show you is a very short one. I'm not going to do a demo, but mention that um, the hide due date flag is now fully supported. And, and when uh, hide due date is, um, is uh, checked for a program stage, uh, the due date will be hidden around the capture app and the scheduling uh, will, be, um, will be affected. This um, is useful to re reduce complexity in the user interface and remove unnecessary data in, uh, in the Capture App's uh, user interface. Um, the next one is um, the attribute option combination selection for tracker. This is also a, a parity feature. Uh, we now allow selecting attribute option combinations in tracker programs. Uh, this is a screenshot, but I'll give you a quick demo. And switch to the child program up here. And as you can see, um, oops. Uh, if I open a existing record and um, oops, prepare there, add a new event. Um, I did not. Uh, okay, I'm not completely sure what happened there. Uh, okay. We'll have to do the, something that happened to my metadata apparently. So um, I'm going back to my screenshot. Uh, instead of figuring out what's wrong, <clears throat> um, the implementing partner and projects was um, uh, was the, um, is the demo, um, uh, category and um, as you can see here, um, the uh, implementing partner projects uh, category combo is presented now as one of the choices in adding the the event to um, to the enrollment. Um, it's below the basic info and above the standard form um, when a category combination is used. So um, here you can see the implementing partner, which is one of the combinations being filled out, and the project. Um, in the in the process of being filled out. Um, to get this feature, you would actually have to upgrade your capture app after installing 240.0. Uh, um, the bundled version of um, the capture app in uh, in the 240.0 version is is um, 
uh, not containing this uh, feature, uh, but um, the latest capture app version in the in the app uh, hub will uh, in the app management store will um, will contain this feature. So just make sure you update your uh, app if this is a useful feature for you. Uh, it would work from 2.38 and up as uh, all of the other issues we have gone over so far. <laughs>